All right, well, welcome back to Exhaust Sports Auto. My name is Kevin, and as you can see by the title and thumbnail, it is regarding the 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible. I want to get your thoughts about it. What do you think about it? You know, if you were in the market, you know, would you consider this thing? That's really what I want to know. And would you take it over the coupe? Because um, this here is the 2020 LC500, the coupe version, obviously. I think the you know, they're, they're giving out the LC500 convertible as like a press car now. So a few people are going to get it. Obviously, it's not going to be me. Um, I've been trying to beg them for an ES350 for the longest time, ever since I saw the 2019 come out. Yeah, I still haven't done that one yet. So LC500 convertible, yeah, get real. That's never going to happen. But regardless, we can speculate, right? Because that's all we can pretty much do right now. Okay, so this convertible thing, information has been released, obviously. It's been released like November of last year, actually. And they said that it's going to come out for summer of 2020. But obviously, with all that's happened, I don't know. They're probably going to you know, push that back a little bit further. But whatever, whenever it comes out, some of the information has already been discussed and been leaked already by Lexus themselves. Pricing has not, however. I don't know, I'm probably thinking it's probably going to be like, what, 120 racks, maybe? Which, uh, if it is, that's not bad at all. It's pretty bad, but, like, it's just, like, that's still peanuts compared to, like, what Maserati asked for, like, their old, you know, Gran Turismo thing. I actually drove one of those. It was a used one, but I did drive in. This car was actually superior in every single way. So, it was faster. It was more comfortable. It was more refined. It was just a better vehicle in pretty much every conceivable measure of what a automobile is. And they ask 150 racks for that, and you have no, you have no problems paying that at all. So, uh, you know, them asking 150 grand for this is uh that's it's not bad at all 100 grand is too cheap for a car like this and 120 for a convertible i don't see anything wrong with that if it's like 110 even better but i'm not gonna lie once you go past like 100 racks that kind of becomes a little unobtainable for a lot of people even if you are leasing or financing or something like that the payments are going to shoot up there so there is that but okay anyway let's get on with the car this thing is still going to utilize the same v8 engine of course i mean that's the whole purpose of this car is that naturally aspirated v8 and it's going to be utilizing the same exact 10 speed automatic however this is a 2021 model year they have announced some differences there has been a substantial update i guess between the 2020 and the 2021 that is 22 pounds has been taken off of the kind of suspension components like all the rotational mass 22 pounds has been taken off of the vehicle so you're going to be seeing that translated onto the convertible version as well the convertible is going to weigh 4500 pounds which is actually not bad i actually thought it was going to weigh like 4700 pounds so they didn't make it too ridiculous however it is a cloth top they were they didn't know like which they really want to go with either the cloth or the hard top it's actually kind of a good thing that didn't go with the hard top even though that's what i personally prefer the weight would have shot up like probably well past 4700 pounds if they had like a articulating like metal top thing going on yeah that's gonna be too heavy but um what do you think about the uh, the cloth top lc i mean i don't know i'm actually personally not a big convertible guy so i don't really care much for it but it's just like you have to admit i've driven a few convertible cars and it really does transform the car it's like a totally different automobile altogether when you take the top off it's really something special you are totally open to all the senses and everything that's going on with the car you start hearing things that you couldn't hear before like if you have a coupe version of the car so that's something to notice i mean like even this car for example when you put the windows down on this thing it's a completely different experience than when you just drive around with the windows up and you know that sounds like common sense it, you start to hear things a lot more clearly and you can imagine when you peel off the entire top it's going to be something else entirely so that's what lexus is saying with this new release that it's just going to invoke more of your senses now it's just going to be like that ultimate kind of like top down experience where you get to really hear this new engine so it's going to be something special i i do think that um and actually i don't think they ruined it with the cloth top i'm just not a big cloth top guy but it's just like it does look pretty decent they did try to keep the same proportions as much as possible and i think it worked for the most part it's going to come in like a black top a white top there will be a blue top as well but it's only for that special edition blue car uh, like that sapphire blue thing that's like it's really hard to make that paint job or whatever there's only going to be a hundred of those and yeah so black and white top for all the other normal cars and there are some new colors as well orange i do like that new orange that is pretty swaggy i'm not gonna lie if this car came in orange i probably would have gotten that because it's not as flashy and in your face like that yellow is but it's still kind of like a subdued orange like that cadmium orange or whatever that they use on the ux it's pretty much that exact same color so that's pretty sick i like that but some of the mechanical changes that is 
here. Obviously, like I mentioned, they took some weight off, you know, rotational mass and all that stuff from the front suspension. And the rear, like, bracings and all that stuff has been moved. It's been moved up and all that stuff. So it kind of has, like, a different kind of structure in the rear end. There's a couple of reasons for that to beef up that rear suspension so it can still utilize that same kind of structural rigidity similar to the coupe it's said to pretty much drive identical to the coupe which is a big deal the body structure has been slightly changed to give it not only for being aerodynamic but also to not have as much wind buffeting and all that stuff so you can still have a conversation inside of the vehicle of course you know that grand touring type of mindset right so they did things with like the belt line they raised it up and all that good stuff and uh, it does look pretty stunning i'm not when you have the top down dude it gives the coupe a run for its money it is a stunning looking car uh interior choices it's the same interior choices as this car you know you get the same like toasted caramel that this vehicle is there's new red interior like they do offer red but it's gonna be a brighter red not like that subdued red that they offer currently and they obviously they have a black interior of course and then the white interior that you see is only with the blue car that special edition like the 100 that they're gonna make that car gets like the full white interior with the blue stuff accents going all around it so there you go this car is not meant to be some sales success or whatever it's just for those people who give a shit about the brand who care about this car who understand what this car is it's just taking it to level 11 basically this car's chassis is so rigid i think that the convertible just had to happen i mean it's just it's not going to destroy anything they took their sweet time making that convertible they didn't just come out with it you know alongside this car it took them like three years for them to come out with a convertible version why is that because lexus gives a shit they pay attention to all the little things like you know raising that belt line so it can be a little bit quieter so it can be you know the wind buffeting and all that stuff they need to rearrange the rear suspension and all that front suspension everything to kind of cope with the additional weight it's like little nuanced little things but it makes a big difference and all the zero to 60 guys are like oh but what about the zero to 60 and all you know those jerk offs will never understand the fine nuanced details that go into building a car like this and when you take the top off it's not as simple as just you know what i'm saying like chopping the roof off i mean there's so much that goes into it you know the top that they use is like you know four different materials or whatever it's just going to be like the finest convertible top pretty much out there and i believe them because i actually drove you know cars like the porsche boxster s with the convertible top jaguar f types and you know those are you know kind of premium luxury cars when you put the top up in those cars it's totally appropriate you know it's not ridiculous it actually just feels like you're sitting in any other coupe so you know that's Jaguar and Porsche. You know Lexus is going to take that to a whole other level. And it's going to be even more refined. It's going to feel pretty much identical to sitting in this car. Yeah, I think uh, they're not going to ruin it. I do believe them when they say it's going to drive identical to this car. I think it was actually technically smart of them to go with the soft top instead. Uh, this is obviously going to be like a second, third, fifth vehicle. You know, unlike me, it's actually going to be purchased by people who can actually afford this car, who have the disposable income, who can just write a check for it and not think twice about it. So for those people... You're really going to enjoy this car. I think it's going to look amazing. It's going to drive amazing, of course. And you're really going to be like in tune and one with that V8 engine, essentially. So, yeah, looks like a fun little whip. I'm mostly excited for that orange color. I think that's going to be baller as hell. Along with the 2021, you know, it's got a slightly different tune of the transmission. You know, the adaptive dampers have been slightly tuned for a little bit more comfort. So this is technically going to be the ultimate LC. I'm not just talking about the convertible. I'm also talking about the coupe here. You know, it's meant to be like the kind of ultimate LC 500 before the LCF comes out with that whole twin turbo thing. I'll make another video talking about that as well. Actually, as soon as I cut this camera, I'll make another video about the LCF and what that has to bring to the table. But this LC 500, I think it's going to be a superior car. I mean, it's just like the Maserati formula perfected. So and there's that. If you have no issues paying 150 racks for that, well, you shouldn't have any issues paying less for a superior car. So there you go. Oh, and by the way, this is going to excite many of you. This is the last thing. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will come as standard with the infotainment. It's the same infotainment. However, they're adding the Android Auto as well. Like the car that I'm sitting in, the 2019s above, they all get apple carplay however like right now i have an android phone and it doesn't have android auto so you're going to get both 2021 moving forward so there's that so there you go that's pretty much everything let me know your thoughts if you've seen the car if you like the car let me know but thank you again for watching take care goodbye